Okay, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kudash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get into the topic of, uh, you know, dealing with um, a uh, a lot of our people, man. Okay, you know, you. <laughs> it's funny how here it is. All right, we in the uh, 2020, the year of prophecy. All right, what are we like halfway through a year? All right, you've seen all the things that have unfolded and all the things that are still yet to come. And, you know, as of right now, you know, you still have our people at ease, you know. And the problem is a lot of our people don't want to think about, all right, the the tribulation and the calamities to come. Okay, they don't want, they don't want to, you know, uh, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's too scary for their mind, you know, so they don't want to accept reality. They want to hide away from it as, as much as much as possible okay but the thing about it is you you when it comes to you know all hell breaking loose and you know the times that we're about to come into you have to be proactive all right you can't be waiting to be reactive all right to see oh okay all right is it true or not and then now i'm gonna try to repent or now i'm gonna try to seek the way out no it's gonna be too late by then okay Right now is the time when the Lord is still having those doors of mercy open. Right now is the time when the Lord is still accepting people, all right, to repent and, and you know, change their ways. And now is the time, you know, you got Jake that don't want to hear it. You know, they don't want to hear about the prophecies. They don't want to hear about the hell that's coming. They don't want to hear about the chip, you know. In their mind, it's just, I just want this corona thing to get over with so I can go back to my normal life. If my school tells me to get this or do this, I'm going to do it. You know, because I want to I want to live my normal life. All right. And that's going to be the downfall of a lot of people, man. That's what's going to lead to the, the calamities that are going to befall a lot of these people. All right. Because once you take that chip and you make that pledge. All right. With Esau, Edom. OK. The most high ain't going to have any hedge of protection over you. OK. In the time of famine, you will not be redeemed. You will not be saved. All right. In the time of famine. And you can't escape the time of famine with a chip. Okay, the Lord can still have you die in all the hell that's coming. Okay, so if you think that you're gonna make it out because by not accepting reality and trying to hide from it and you know just trying to live in your in your make believe world, that's that's not gonna do you any good. Okay, so this is Ezekiel chapter twelve, verse twenty-five. Um, it says, "For I am the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai. I will speak." And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord, Lord God. All right. And this is the time in which those prophecies, the judgments the Lord has pronounced against this place and against our people and against these other nations is going to take place. All right. The Lord said his word is no more going to be prolonged. So it's not going to be, oh, I've heard that before, or, you know, when it happens, it happens. I'll, you know, that's, that's the thing that's like when people say, I'll deal with it when it happens. I'll deal with it in the moment. No, you won't. The scriptures say all hands shall be faint. Okay? In the moment, you're not going to be able to stop and think to say, okay, now I want to make a decision under pressure. Okay? When, they have, when they're threatening you or you're in a very uncomfortable position... You will break under the pressure if you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shai with you, which is why you have to build that up now. You have to you have to make your, your stance now and stand by it and build upon it. So when that time comes, it's not a it's not a s you're not in the middle. You're not on shaky ground. Alright? You're standing firm. You don't you're not taking a chip and you're standing firm. You've built your spirit, you've built your mind, you've built everything around that mindset. Okay, you've strengthened your mind. All right, to not take the chip, to stay faithful to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. It's not just about a decision you make, it's about sticking to it. Okay, so it says, And again the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come. So what you're talking about, that's not here right now. I'll deal with it when it happens. No, that's, that's later down the line. And that's the thing, Jake don't look ahead. All right, our people don't consider they don't consider so what's gonna happen when this vaccine comes out can i really trust all right this government or the pharmaceutical company who have a history of killing people for money 
can I really trust them to give me a, something that's good for me? And even if the vaccine has nothing in it, I'd rather take my chances of not having the vaccine than taking the vaccine because I don't trust them. Okay? The fact that they're trying to make it mandatory and they're trying to push it upon the people, why is that? You know? It says, it's for many days to come and he prophesied of the times that are far off. So what you're saying it is not right here and now in front of me, even though the signs are there, what you're saying is not right here and now in front of me, so it's okay. It's fine, it's whatever. I don't want to think about that right now. But soon you'll be forced to think about it. You'll be forced to live it. And there's gonna be no going back. There's gonna be at that point when you need you need you, you know, cause look, when we when we do these videos and we we exhort our people and we talk to you, okay, it's to build you up. It's to strengthen your reasoning for not taking the chip or not, you know, for staying faithful to your Hawaii Shemiel shot. You see, it's not just, okay, I decided not to, but why? What's your anchor that is going to keep you stable in those days? That's why we do these videos and bring out these precepts and explain and comfort and build up brothers and sisters and those who are watching. Okay? So you not only have a, re you know, you don't only say, okay, I'm not going to take the chip, but you have a reason not to. All right? Your mind has been fortified, okay? But if you're thinking it's a far off, so I deal with it when I get there, then you're letting your guard down. You're thinking you have enough time to react. Lord, the scriptures say in 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, the third verse, that it's going to come like sudden destruction. You're not going to see it coming. You're not going to have enough time to react for Jacob's trouble. When they come in like a flood, the Lord is going to lift up a standard for those that had already made up their mind to stand for the Lord. The scriptures say the Lord said what? I have 7,000 that have not bowed the knee to Baal. Okay. So the Lord already has his, his people who have set it in their minds to stay faithful even if it has to be until death. Those are the ones he's going to protect. Not somebody who's borderline, unpredictable, doesn't know what they want to do. That's not who the Lord is dealing with. He said, look, you're either with me or you're against me. He that is not with me is against me. All right, and people don't understand. They they want they want a million and one reasons why they shouldn't take the chip. It's simple. The the, the primary reason you shouldn't take it is because the Most High said don't take it. Why is that so hard? Verse twenty eight. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. And the sad part is, the second you you say this part, well don't take it. You tell them what the chip is and all that. Okay, well, how you know that's coming? Like, why shouldn't we take it? Oh, because the Lord said it's coming. And he said, don't take it. The, the sad part is the second you mention the Lord, they completely, like, the credibility and the, the value at which they used to hold it decreases for the majority of our people. The second you bring the Lord into the picture is like what you just said went from 80% to like 50%. You know? It says, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord God. You know, to a lot of our people, we're just broken records. You know, we're just, we're just, oh yeah, he's back saying the same thing again. Oh, yep, there he is. You know, he's been saying it for God knows how long. But guess what? Ezekiel 33 and 33. It says, man, this is nice. Um, Ezekiel 33 and uh, 30. Okay, it says, Also thou son of man, the children of thy people are still still are talking against thee behind the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brethren, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh from forth from the Lord. You know, and you have a lot of our people that, you know, like we keep saying, they think it's a joke. This is a matter of life and death. This is your life that we're trying to warn you about. Okay? This is going to affect the whole world. All right? And you think it's a joke. Oh, yeah. Oh, this, this, that, and the third. And you got time and all this. When it comes, you will not have. The Lord will be justified in not showing mercy to people. Okay? Because when the time. Look, it's simple. Repent now. Get the mercy. You don't want to repent now. No mercy. So because of your actions, if you don't get mercy that's on you it's not difficult that's on you all right verse 31 and they come unto thee as the people cometh 
and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. At the end of the day, it's what they want to do, you know? Why should I listen to what the Lord, what you're saying the Lord said over what I want to do, you know? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, that's why Jacob's trouble has to happen, man. Because people don't, people don't respect the Lord. The second you mention the Lord and you tie something to it, it's like everybody's all like, oh, well, Lord, Lord, you know, it's, that's very uh, ambiguous, it's very vague, you know, like everybody talking about Lord, Lord. But very soon, after after the hell that's going to come on this place, when you mention Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, they're going to know, it's, it's going to be a serious vibe, you know, like people going to know that you ain't playing when you mention, when you mention those names. Right now you mentioned that they're like, yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> it's verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. So some, some don't listen. But when it comes down to it, man, they weren't listening to build themselves up. They weren't listening, all right, to actually let it resonate and meditate upon it. They were just listening just to listen. And when the time comes, we guarantee you, God on T. <laughs> All right, when that time comes, man, a lot of people are going to wish they spent more time actually listening to the words we were speaking. They're going to wish they spent more time actually preparing themselves. They're going to they're gonna say, look, man, I didn't know it was going to be this bad. This is what you were talking about the whole time? You know? Damn. And you would think that this whole coronavirus phase one, all right, would have been an eye opener for people, man. But things started to look like they're going okay. Oh, New York is entering reopening phase uh, number two. Amidst these coronavirus numbers spiking up, highest daily number records, but yet you're still reopening. Interesting. Verse 33, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. That's when they're going to want to, oh, shoot. Yo, what he was seeing was right. Yo, we got to find him. Yo, we got to. But guess what? When that time comes, we're going to be prepared. Why? Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And right now, what have we been doing? We've been taking our time to build up our wisdom and build up our knowledge so we can be stable. Okay. These people have not been doing that. All right. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So when that time comes, man, hey, Lord willing, we are that elect, man. The Lord got us. He got us. Because when all when everybody else was doing what they wanted to do, we sacrificed. When everybody else was, was, was being idolatrous, we repented. When everybody else wanted to do what they wanted to do, we were faithful and obedient to Yahweh Ba'ashim El Shai to the best of our ability. We're not perfect, but we kept on trying. And we keep on trying. And we're going to keep trying until we make it to the end. And the Lord will, he will protect us, man. He will provide for us. Okay? And when the tables turn, everybody's going to want to sit at our table. Now everybody's going to want to listen to what we got to say. No, we, not, we don't want to talk now. When that time comes, we're not going to want to talk. We don't want to sit down and break down scriptures to you. We don't want to explain anything to you. Now, it's time for you to see what we've been talking about and go deal with it. The same plan you had before, the same way you said you're going to deal with it when it comes, well, it's here. Deal with it. You know? And it's not because we're mean or that's messed up. And No, it's not. It's not messed up. Because when we told you and you didn't listen, why should you go mess up even after we warned you and then we should hazard our lives to try and clean up after your mess? No, that's not how it works. Okay? You don't get it, you don't get it. So you pay for it, man. All right? But that's the times we're coming into, man. All right? So, hey, look, we're going to do our job. Because whether you listen or not, our job still needs to be done. And that's to push this word out. And once the Lord brings that family under the word and he closes those doors of mercy... You're going to see hell on earth like you've never seen before. Pursuant to Daniel, the 12th chapter, and Jeremiah, 30, the, 7th, the 30th chapter, the 7th uh, verse. All right. Hell is about to be unleashed upon this earth, man. And people are not ready. People are not ready. You let, you've let your guard down at the wrong, wrong time. All right. But anyway, I'm not going to drag it. Lord willing, this is at a final to the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakah Kodash. 
until next time, shalom.